as you all know, February is Black History Month. And rather than just us as adults talking about it, it was really important to pull in some of the kings from our district um, and tell a little bit about themselves, answer a couple questions about how they think we should be celebrating Black History Month. And again, not just in February, but all year round. Tell me a little bit about when you hear the word king applied to yourself. How does that make you feel? And what does that mean to you? The first time I was called king was in seventh grade with my um, kingmaker's teacher. And I, it felt awkward to me because I never heard that before. But um, he started calling me that, calling all of us that, which kind of made me feel powerful mm -hmm. and felt like I can be the leader and I can help my people rise up again. You know, king is up here, you know, and it just makes me feel powerful, makes me feel I can do anything I want to. Tell me a little bit about how that feels, being a part of the st Student Leadership Council and the kind of work you're doing there and how that's helping you sort of navigate what's, what's happening. They taught us about our history, taught us about where we came from. They taught us a lot about our culture and they just taught us a lot about black history. So mm -hmm. I'm really proud of that. Being a new member of AAMA, it definitely gave me more confidence in myself that I can create change. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher, history teacher. In, uh, in the high school, in the high school, because I feel like that's a, a point in life where you either go left or right, and mm -hmm. I want to be that change for somebody that helps them go the right way. That's awesome. Um, what do you want us to know, and how do you want us to celebrate all of you? We're not learning about where we're from, and people don't really realize like all the stuff that Africa has and all black people have in general. So if you put that to just American history, you're like, those black, black African-Americans, they came from Africa, and we should learn about like the motherland, too. Yeah. For me, I want teachers that are dedicated to speaking about issues that happen, and not just about some of the leaders, because I feel like there were a lot of important people that were part of the movement, not even also the, only the movement, about slavery, about what happened before that, because we had a life before slavery, too, and that's not mentioned. And I also feel like not only talk, not only it being in February, because the fact that it's only in February is like the hashtag Tuesday blackout thing. We only matter for that certain month and the rest of the year, we don't have to talk about us. And we have to talk about in world history, white people and how they've enslaved the world. And us, it's one month we're, we're talked about and we can't just forget about it, just like hashtag Tuesday back out. Um, being black is a very beautiful thing. You know, black excellence, that's something I strive for. And um, if we're gonna celebrate Black History Month, I just want to be less generic. Like we all know who Martin Luther King is, Rosa Parks, even Jackie Robinson, but we don't know people like uh, Robert Smalls and even Martin Luther King's wife, who um, helped here in Seattle change King County from William or King County to uh, Mr. Dr. Luther King uh, County. And I feel like we should learn about that. And with Robert Smalls, he's the model black man. He saved his family from a slave ship, became a businessman, homeowner, and he even uh, opened up a school to, for help, to help young black and brown uh, students learn how to read and write when it was illegal. So I feel like if we are gonna celebrate, let's celebrate the right way. What does that feel like to you if you were walking into, a school, into your school and black excellence was actually implemented and instituted. What does that mean to you and how would that feel to you? I think, I think it would feel great. Everybody, everybody around me not hating, mm -hmm. not doing none of that. Like, it just makes me feel proud about myself. If I had like a group of people who like I could connect with, like I had the same like skin tone as me, all this type of stuff, like, I feel like that would be way more helpful than learning about it one, like once a month. Teachers and just students being there for you, just like, I don't know, just making you feel good because yeah. a lot of people have been bullying before and still are getting bullied. And teachers, students don't always stand up for you. And I feel like that way, you know, that you're, getting, you're being cared for. Just seeing you know, people like me doing great things like teaching, because I feel like teaching is the most important job in, in the world. You all are inspiring. 
and we will continue to listen to you as we continue to build out those structures and supports that you need. And so thank you for being here. Thanks for participating. Look forward to further conversations.